on October 2017, Quanta magazine published an article about some breakthrough in theoretical computer science. The breakthrough was made by three researchers, two of which are right here at the IC school at EPFL, namely Professor Ola Svensson and his PhD student Jacob Tarnowski. Their breakthrough is the first efficient constant factor approximation of the asymmetric traveling salesman problem. Now, we've discussed the traveling salesman problem in a previous video, but what is the asymmetric traveling salesman problem? For ATSP, for the asymmetric traveling salesman problem, where the distances are not symmetric, so maybe it's much more expensive to go from U to V than to go from V to U. Now, this may seem weird at first, but the asymmetric traveling salesman problem actually has a lot of applications. If you are hiking in the mountain, walking up from bottom to top is likely to take more time than hiking down. Similarly, and perhaps more importantly, if you're booking flight tickets, the cost of a ticket from A to B on a particular day may be much larger than the cost of the ticket from B to A on that particular day, maybe because on that particular day, a lot of people want to fly to B. So this is interesting because the symmetric traveling salesman, as I said, has a three over two approximation and it has a very simple two approximation that you can teach in an undergraduate class. But for that symmetric traveling salesman problem for a long time, the best argument was achieving a guarantee that deteriorates with the size of the input. So if you have more cities, the solution you can guarantee to get gets worse as the number of cities grows. There, you know, there was no constant. Uh, before our work. So the best guarantee was for a long time log m and then it was improved in 2010 by giving an alternative method to log n over log log m which you know grows to infinity as n grows to infinity and recently poly log log m. This means that before the work of Svensson, Tarnowski and Weg we could not exclude the fact that the best algorithm for the asymmetric driving salesman problem could potentially return solutions that were billions or trillions of times more expensive than the optimal solution. Albeit here, we're talking about the traveling salesman problem with an astronomically huge number of cities. And then what we have achieved with a different method, with a third method, is to achieve a constant that is independent of the size. This is the breakthrough. We now know of an algorithm whose approximation ratio is bounded. There is a constant C such that the tools that the efficient algorithm returns are always at most C times more expensive than the optimal tool. But perhaps what's most exciting is the fact that the svensson tarnowski weg algorithm is based on quite different ideas from previous attempts. To find a tour, uh, you have to satisfy two criteria. You know, the solution has to be something called Eulerian, meaning that you should enter each city as the same number of times as you exit. So in a tour, that's clearly true, right? If you enter a city, you exit. So the same number of times you enter a city, you should exit. So that's the first constraint you have on your solution. The second constraint is that it should be connected, meaning that it should be visiting uh, all vertices, right? All cities. You should not leave some cities unvisited. So the two approaches that existed before were based on either I forget about connectivity, so I forget that I should visit every city, uh, and now I find, I iteratively always maintain that I have an Eulerian graph, this in degree equal to out degree, and I iteratively make sure that I connect more and more of the graph. Okay, so that led to that log n approximation because intuitively I connect half the graph at each step and I may need to repeat it log n times. Uh, the other approach is to completely forget about the Eulerianicity constraint, saying that the in degree should equal the out degree, and make sure that we have a connected graph first. So there, to make sure that we have a connected graph, we find something called a spanning tree, and then we patch up the graph to make sure that we have the in degree equal to out degree. So that, that gave the log n over log log n, or the poly log log n. So basically, previous approaches either focused on the Eulerian property, or on the connectivity property. The clever idea of Svensson, Tarnowski and Weg was to find a more clever way to balance these two properties. So we still are closer to the Eulerian approach that we forget about the connectivity, but we also transferred some of the connectivity requirements. This allows us to do a little bit more complicated problem at each iteration, but to have somehow to have a cheaper, we don't need to pay log n to make the graph connected, we only have to pay a constant. So, so, so maybe that's a very high level 
a comparison between the three different approaches. Now, of course, there is still a lot of research to be done on how to better approximate efficiently the asymmetric traveling salesman problem, starting with improving upon the constant C that was determined by Svensson, Tarnowski and Weg. The constant approximation factor that we get, which is like 5,000 something, uh, it's definitely not the right answer. It's a big constant, so now in the paper it's 5,500, so it's a big constant. We actually know how to get it down into, let's say, the hundreds uh, by making the argument uh, more complicated and losing this nice modular structure of the proof that we have. Can the constant found by Svensson, Tarnowski and Weg be brought down to a smaller number? We're going down beyond the hundreds, let's say to 50 or 100, or anywhere close to 2, which people believe to be the right answer, uh, seems to be hard at this point, like uh, more probably many more new ideas would be needed to do that. So the only lower bound we know of is 2. Okay, for uh, for this uh, for the convex relaxation that we use, uh, so I guess two might be the right answer. So there's still a lot of work to be done. So this is the root map. If we have like a class of ATSP instances, if on this class we can find a constant light algorithm for local connectivity ATSP, whatever local connectivity ATSP is, then we are in business. One of the things that we realized is that there was no good algorithm that could visit 90% of the cities. We started to think about that, and that is one of the key part of the sequence of, uh, of the simplification. So we find something we call the backbone, which intuitively is a tour that visits 90% of the stuff, and then we patch it up.